What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, I wanted to share with you guys how to install one of the best additions to your Model 3, Model Y, or your even your newest Model 3, the new refresh. This They actually have a model for this as well, but I absolutely love this one because it's small, it goes with the look of the OEM plastic trim, and it has an air vent pass-through. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it's very simple to install. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys this. You don't have to install, uh, you don't have to cut through any wires or anything, it's pretty simple. And yeah, so this was sent to me by Teslasi, so thank you guys for sending this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my friend's 2021 Model Y. He's gonna be very excited about this. So let's go ahead and start putting this baby in. So some of you guys may get this with a front bumper camera. Uh, I did, here it is right here. I'll show you guys how to install that front bumper camera. But the front bumper camera is optional. Now, depending on your car, your car might have a Ryzen or an Intel. You'll wanna select that when ordering. And then here's some of the screws to attach the heads up display or cluster to the dashboard. And I believe they also give you the option to connect it or, or just double side tape it. Cause I think, yeah, I think that's some double side tape here. So you can double sided tape it if you want, or you can screw it in. I'll probably just screw it in and see how that goes. Um, just so it's easy to remove if he wants to remove it in the future. But there's the display, you get a clip removal tool as well. And then you also get a dashboard dis, uh, display user manual. And then here is the wiring harness. Now I, I already tested it just because before I started this video, I want to make sure everything was working properly. Um, but here's the harness, the way to plug it in. It's super simple. Um, I'll show you guys how to remove all this on the other side, but it's so easy. All you do is you, you're plugging into here with the harness. And then there's that blue plug right there that this harness plugs into. And that's literally it. Of course, it's gonna get more complicated if you have a front bumper camera. I'm gonna go over how to install that. But um, yeah, it's pretty simple. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to remove all of this stuff on the other side. And then we will go ahead and get started. I'm really getting this thing in. First, what you're gonna wanna do is take this out. Pretty simple, just a few clips. There we go. And then you'll want to take this out right here. There we go. Pull up on that bottom clip. And then there's usually a clip right here. His does not have it at the moment. Um, and what's normally the easiest is just pull on this. It's not held in with glue or anything. Just pull this up. It'll go right into place uh, next time. And that just makes it easier for you to go ahead and pick this up. And especially it makes it a lot easier when you want to put it back as well. And then just pull out like that. I'm going to put this on the top of the car. And then that's essentially it to get here. And then there's one clip here holding that carpet on and then you can pull that back. So that's how you do it for this side and the other side. It's basically the same. Now you're also going to want to take this off. He does have some ambient lighting here. So we do have to be mindful about that. This is super easy to pop up. It's super simple. You just pull up on here. It's just clips the whole way. I'll show you guys how this comes up, but literally just pull up just like that. And that's it for that side. And then you got the same situation over here. And that's basically it. And then you just wanna pull this out this way and then it should just come out. All right, guys, so here we go. Dash is out of the car, and this is what it's looking like. Here is the display. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up with this. I just want it to be, you know, somewhat like that. These are going to go through those little holes there, and so are the wires. Um, and then we will, uh, I'll pick it up from there and show you guys how to put those brackets on. Guys, there we go. So that's what it's looking like. I say you don't even need that double-sided tape. I mean, obviously if you don't want to use the screws, you can do that. But in my opinion, that's gonna be way more than enough. And then those brackets with the screws are just gonna screw on right there. And then there's your connections. All right, guys, she's all done. 
that's what it should look like super simple um let's go ahead before we put this on we want to get that front bumper camera on so i am going to go ahead and get going on that front bumper camera all right guys so for the front bumper camera we're gonna want a 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna open up the front here let's open this baby up and we're gonna want to take out the plastic front part so to do that, let's actually take this off here. This is super easy to remove. You got a few clips here. Clips here towards the top. Let's take this off first. There we go. And then we're gonna wanna take this cable off, or this connector. This connector doesn't have a tab, it just comes right out. And then what we're gonna have is a 10, 10, and another 10 there and another 10 right there. All right, so now that we got those out, we also want to take this out, which is pretty simple. There we go. Just pull that up and then it comes right out. And then we also have a clip right here. This should come out pretty easily. There we go. All right. So once we have that out, this whole thing will just come right out. All right, guys, so next up, we actually wanna go back into the interior and we wanna take off a little bit more of this carpet. You can see this panel right here. We wanna take that off. It's pretty easy. It's mainly just clips, a few of these simple clips. Got one there, you got one here as well. Let's, let's take this off. There we go. Another one over here. So that's three. I think there's one more. Yeah, okay, we got another one over here, actually. I think four is all of them. Let's see here. Okay, I think that's it. I think four. And then this should come on down. And there's a few clip that holds it in. Then it comes out. And then you've got your light connector right here. This tab comes down and then that goes out. The speaker or the tweeter is just a pole. It doesn't actually have a connector on it or a tab. And then that comes off. And then the reason why we're doing that is because we need to pull this back a little bit more. Because if you can see right up here, see right there, like this plastic rubber seal, basically it's where everything, all the, the wire harness goes from the inside to the outside. That's where we're going to be getting or pushing the, uh, the front bumper camera cable through because it's going to be going through if you see this right here if you see that you're gonna want to do i believe it's the bottom you see those nipples i know that's weird to say but you see those nipples there there's one on the bottom and that's the one that you want to cut and pass through the um, the wire for the front bumper camera. So this whole process will be definitely pretty difficult to show um, with one hand <laughs> with the camera. So I'm gonna try to get this done and I'll show you guys how I'm doing. And there we go. I pushed it through from the other side after I cut the bottom nipple off and that's it. Front bumper camera is officially wired in. And then it's basically just gonna go right up along this edge, right up to there. Now, in terms of getting it to here, you'll basically feel this little rub rubber flap that it can go in between, just like that. And that's how you get it to the front. All right, guys, so the final thing that I did for this front bumper camera, as you can see, I screwed into, I used double-sided tape and I screwed in to the, the uh, rough plastic part, not the actual like painted finish of the bumper. 
And then when it comes to all this wire, I'm just gonna zip tie it to like here, follow along this right here as well, all the way to the grommet. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. We've got all the wires ready. We've got, I believe this one is the camera. We've got power and can. Um, and then those extra wires are for the ambient lighting that he has. Now this is definitely the most difficult, uh, you know, just messing around with things part because you got to get all the wires in a way where they don't interfere with these clips and it's just pretty difficult. Hey guys, here it is. Got everything plugged in, snapped in. That's what it looks like. You know, before I snap that whole thing on, I probably should have checked to make sure the front bumper camera was working, but uh, that's okay. Let's take a look here. So the time is almost right. Uh, Got to change that to PM. Then we got the Fahrenheit, which works. And for some reason it has a Model 3 Highland. I don't know why. Should have a Model Y, so that's a bit odd. Uh, maybe you can change that somewhere in here. But if you go to the right here, you've got some different uh, settings here. Let's go to settings. We've got steering wheel controls, language, uh, tire pressure, your time zone. We got display, rainbow road, brightness. And then if you wanna connect to Android Auto or CarPlay, you can set that up right there. Your audio mode can be heads up display or on the phone. You can do a software update if you want. All right guys, so we finally got the front bumper camera working. That's what it's looking like. He had to go into factory mode to enable the button. So if you go over here, now there's uh, the front bumper right camera right here. Um, so I'll put the instructions on how to enable that down below. And then if you guys wanna look at the front bumper camera settings, it's right here. You got frame rate, mirror, resolution, rotation, brightness, contrast, saturation, all that stuff. All right, guys, so I have had um, some displays before, but I gotta say this one is without a doubt my favorite so far, um, just because of how simple it is. And it just looks like it goes with the Model 3 and the Y. I feel like some of the other ones can be a little bit too big, too chunky. Um, I, and I really like the software on this one. I feel like the software on this one is super smooth um, in terms of the frame rate, like the refresh rate. I feel like the refresh rate, it kind of looks like it's, I mean, I don't know, at least... 40 30 to 40 frames some of the other ones that i've had they just constantly look a little laggy and choppy especially when you compare it to the actual tesla display so that's something that i really like about this one which is really cool and it's this one is very animated um you know it shows if you have the headlights on it shows if you have a door open. It shows if you don't. It shows a whole bunch of stuff. So, so far, I am really, really liking this one. I wish maybe the regen was a little smoother. That's the only thing that looks a little choppy. But other than that, this thing is great. 